Hi friends, Mr. Chris, Child Life Assistant from Shriners Hospital for Children in Houston, coming at you again with another easy craft activity to do while you're at home. Today's craft activity is rock painting. And what's really great about this is, is it can be one of those elongated craft activities. So you'll see over here to my right, I have a bag of rocks that I picked up from a home goods store, but you may not have the ability to get out and get to a home goods store. So step one, what you can do is you can engage your children uh, in going on a rock hunt. You know, go around either the local neighborhood or your yard and find some different sized rocks so that they can paint them. Okay, here I have some medium sized rocks. I also have a large sized rock here. Um, obviously the larger the rock, the better um, to use because there's more surface area to paint. Another tip or trick that if you are grabbing rocks from the wild, or even if you're using a bag of rocks from your hardware store, it's a good idea to maybe the night before, if you're using the bag of rocks uh, from the hardware store, kind of wash them off, dust them off, because sometimes they can just get dusty. Uh, I find that the paint sticks to the rock a little better when it's, it's nice and clean and dry. Step one, hunt some rocks down. Step number two, you're gonna need one paper plate for the painting part, and then one paper plate for the drying part. And I always like to use another paper plate for uh, putting the paint on. As you can see here, I have some finished examples of the painted rocks. And really the idea is, is that you just give your children the option to paint whatever they want. Oftentimes, like for example, the rock I have hiding back here, they may find a rock and a great conversation piece to say, hey, what does that rock look like to you? What could that be if it was not a rock? Like to me, this looks kind of like a baked potato, so I might paint it like a baked potato. This one here, it was shaped so much like a ball that uh, a patient threw a, uh, a baseball on it. Engage your children in those questions. What does that look like to you? What would you imagine this would look like if you painted it? Another great activity to do with this. We talked about it being a, a, an elongated activity. Um, this is one I might do right before lunch and then after lunch or nap um, because they'll want to paint the top part of the rock, but if they flip the rock over, they might smear the art that they've already done on the top of the rock to paint the bottom part of the rock. So this is one of those activities that can be a tool full the hunting of the rocks, the first part of the painting of the rocks, and then letting it dry during lunchtime or nap time, and then coming back after nap time and finishing up that. Quick reminder tip, when doing any paint project, I always try and use a smaller brush because it focuses on those fine motor skills, but it will also help to stretch that activity time just a little bit longer when you use the smaller paintbrush as opposed to the larger paintbrush. If you don't happen to have a paintbrush, you can use a cotton swab on a stick or fingers. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, just let us know so we can continue to bring you more of these. And as always, thank you so much and bye-bye for now.